Welcome to our Bethany Beginners course. Today is class 13. We'll start in lesson five, section G. That's the reading. So part one. The verb Gutenbeja, Gutenbeja, sorry, Gutenbeja is used in several different forms in the past tense in this story. Listen to the audio recordings of this story, and then let's um, highlight these different areas. So, part two, you're supposed to listen to the text and then read the entire text again. And part three, ask your language helper to read the text. So just for now, let's just go through the text and find all the times where it says something that's from Gutenbeja. All right, so here we have one here. They go on gut. And then this is the Zaholi version, Rabi Gurigchu. Bed dead gehe one o good. So every time they say, and they said, and said, and said, and said, and said. <laughs> now, sometimes, and I don't understand it, it could be because it's old Kurdish. But they say guten instead of gut, and I don't know why. The a, uh, um, like in the Dehuki version, they have a lot of us. Let me get that version up. My apologies, my mouse. It's not working very good. I have a new computer coming, but until that time happens, we have to put up with my mouse. Oh, it's the same version. Okay. I'm not sure why we have this uh every now and then right here. But we do. I say it's the specific reference marker, but I don't know that that's true. Footnote three, when it's an E with a hat, that is definitely what it says here. It's a contraction or shortened form for Good we or good way or good one or something like that. That's normal. All right, then the next thing we're going to do is the conversations and storytelling. So on page 121, play this conversation game. Look at the pictures on page 101. Read one of the conversation bubbles. Right here, look at the pictures on page 101 and read one of the conversation bubbles. OK, so let's go back. To one. Sorry. So just read any of these conversation bubbles here. Here's one, I'll read this one. Do chichka bida bichiki. Give two birds to the child. Pretend you're at a market and want to buy some fruits or vegetables. Tell the shopkeeper what you want to buy. There's a conversation on page 102 and the food is on page 103. 
And so here's the conversation down here at the bottom, page 102. Um, so first, the shopkeeper would say, for example, Karamka, Tachidvit. And then you could say, for example, Madu Keloit Muz Divin. We want two kilos of bananas. Or you could substitute and choose a different word from the next page. And then in the end, after you get your moose or whatever it is you're buying, then you could say, Chandaya, Chandaya. How do you say a banana or an apple? Page 102 or 106. So, here is a kilo. It's this uck at the end of the word. Let's go to page 106. Here on page 106, it says clearly, add uck if you want to specify a uh, something. So, tasweerak, gindurak, saatak, kililak. Right? Say this. We want two kilos of bananas. Okay, back to page 102. Here we go, down at the bottom. Madu keloet muz divin. That's the Zaholi version. And I think the Dehuki version is slightly different. Yes. In the Dehuki version, you have to put the plural oblique case ending on muz. but the Zahul version leaves that off. Back to my game. All right, how do you say? It's important. Look at page 111. It's important. That's going to be one of the modal adjectives. So you're going to choose any of these and put it in a sentence format. Like the examples here. Petvia, Lazima, Gringa, Majbura, Wahima, Haujea, Zirodia, Mehtaja, Basha. Uh, those are all your adjectives, but which ones actually say it's important? So some of these here at the top. 
one of these three options. All right, how do you say, I want some grapes? Back to page 102. Here we go. Min, titty, devain. And you use devain with the end instead of a T, devate, because titty is plural. Grapes is a plural word. All right, now say she wants some milk. Page 102. Here we go. Way she devet. She wants some milk. Say this. They want a melon. Back to page 102. They want a melon. So here. <clears throat> It says, we can do a debate. That's he wants a melon. So if I want to say they want a melon, then I have to use one. So I would substitute one and put one instead of we. One can do a debate. They want a melon. Say these words, turnip, radish, large white radish. That's on page 103. All right, so we just have to look down under the vegetables. They're alphabetized in English, turnip. So turnip is shalem, right there. And what was the other one? Radish, large white radish. Huh, it's the same word. Shalem. All right, say these words milk or cream. Page 103. Down in the dairy products. Milk is. Sheer and cream is Kaimar or Shire Ibduhan. Say these words beef, chicken, lamb. Okay, page one oh three. It's under the gusht at the bottom. Beef is gushte chele, so meat of the cow. Chicken is gushte mirishke, meat of the chicken. Lamb is gushte berhi, meat of the lamb. Say this, it's not important. Page 111. So at the bottom of page 111, it's not important. It's not necessary. So you put the na in front of your modal adjective. Na petavia, na lazima. Say these words, lemon or lime. Page 
Lemon or lime, those are under the fruits. There we go. So a lemon is a lemon, that's the Arabic word for it, or lemin in Zaho, which is also a woman's name. And lime also seems to be lemin. They might differentiate and call it a yellow lemon or a green lemon. Say these words, tomato and eggplant. Three, under the veggies. So tomato is bajan surk or tomato. Eggplant is bajan rush or bajan rushk. Rush is black. So whatever bajan is, it's the black bajan. And for tomato, sur is red. So whatever bajan is, it's the red version, sur. These words, you're finding patterns here that these words are similar. Okay. So broccoli and cauliflower. So broccoli is carnabit. And cauliflower is carnabit. Or Gul kalam. Gul is the word for flower. It may be the kalam flower. <laughs> broccoli in recent years has also begin, begun to be called broccoli. Say he wants a kilo of zucchini. Page 103, 106. So zucchini is colind. They might say green, colinde kasik. And then let's go back to page one, let's go down to page 106 and see he wants. kilo of so we could say we kiloak kolind a kilo of zucchini so that's plural we don't want to use the plural one to go up to the Singular. So you could say, we kiloak gendur divet, not gendur, kolind. Let me type it. He wants a kilo of zucchini. Kiloak Colend TV. What is the verb for to want or need? Page one oh eight, one eleven. Want or need? Mm 
activate. I'm looking for it. I keep looking. Might not be on page 111. Uh, it's on page 112. Okay, so the verb for to want or need. Let's let's let me change it to 113. The verb for to want or to need is beyond bebe. To want or need. Should be changed to 113. Say, I want a pumpkin. 103, 108. Yes. A pumpkin is And you would plug that into your formula. I want a pumpkin. And Colin said, debate. So that actually says, I want the pumpkin. Technically, say, I want a pumpkin. You would either say, I don't think they would do it. I think they would just say, Men colende zer debate. So we'll put this in parentheses to show that it, in English we say it with an a, uh, but in Kurdish they actually say the. Say, do you want some spinach? Okay, let's go find some spinach. 103, 108. Spinach is right there. Spinach or spinach in Zaho. So you would just plug that into your your formula to spin off debate. You want spin it? Pretend you're at a market and you want to buy some fruits or vegetables. Tell the shopkeeper what you want to buy. So you could go to that conversation on page 102, and you could choose different foods from page 103. So for example, I would say, then, look, if and into hook, you're going to put an A ah at the end of that. And, uh, maybe not on kiloak. Min kiloak save eight. Want a kilo of apples. You could say min. Do kilo eight divine. If you're in the hook, you're going to put the ah uh, oblique case ending on the end of your patat. That means I want two kilos.
say she wants some olives. Okay, so you're going to go to page 103 to find out what the word for olives is. Olives are fruit. So we put them under the fruit. Olive is zaytun. And you're saying she wants some olives, okay? He wants some olives. The sum is not really spoken. We just say it in English. They don't say it so much in Kurdish. So way they tune olives. And since it's plural, Devain. She wants olives. Right? We want mulberries. Go back and find what mulberries are. Mulberries, tea. It's the same as the brother in law. <laughs> so you could say, We want mulberries. Ma. Mulberries is tea. And because it's plural, you say Devain. Mati Devain. We want mulberries. Say this. You must. You can go to page 111. Choose any of these options where it says must. So, paid to be. I think you could even use, so that would be paid to be, paid to be. And you don't actually say you must, you simply say it is necessary, it must be done is what this means, but that's how they say it. So you could say Petavia or you could say Mehtaja. So again, it's not a literal translation from you must do it. It's going with the grammar the way the Kurdish grammar does it and the Kurdish grammar uses it is necessary or it must. It is must. <laughs> Doesn't make sense in English, but that's how we say it in Kurdish. Okay, the next one is say, how many kilos of onions do you want? So go find onions. Onions is pivas right there. And the question is, how many kilos of onions do you want? Uh, ten kilo it. Sorry. And kilo it pivas. Or Devane. How many? Devane. And in the hook, they're going to put an ah at the end of that. Tachan kiloit pivos or Devane. Or in Zaho, Tachan kiloit pivos Devane. And that is how many kilos of onions. Say, how many kilos of oranges do they want? Oh, I told you wrong on this one. It's supposed to be 
plural. So what do you plural want? What chan kiloid bivos divin? Okay, now our next one was how many kilos of oranges do they want? Okay. One chan kiloid. Let's go find our word for oranges. Pertacol. How many kilos of oranges do they want? Or in the Tehuki dialect, they would say, one chan kiloid pertacol divine. And the person per kali with an I with a hat at the end is the word for orange color. So per is the word for orange, the fruit, and per kali is the word for orange color. How do you say Shireen wants mulberries, blackberries, and raspberries? Shireen, and then because it has to be in the oblique case, you say Shireen A. T. So Shireen wants mulberries. Blackberries and raspberries. So T is the word for mulberries. What's the word for blackberries? The word for blackberries is T8 rush. Black mulberries, if you will. And the word for raspberries, guess, is T8 sur. And then you're going to have to vein plural ending because your object is all of that. Mulberries, blackberries, and raspberries. And your verb agrees with your object when it's ergative. And this verb, this want, need verb, is um, ergative in past, present, and future. And I just realized I'm not sharing my screen with you. So that hasn't been very helpful. Let me share my screen from here on out. And maybe I can. You do it there. I'll show you my other sentences that I wrote. these in the chat. I'm not sure how they'll turn out, but I'll put them in the chat so that you can copy them. OK, 
page 122, 121, say, Dave wants bread, butter, and yogurt. So you go to page 103 to get all those words. Bread, butter, and yogurt. So bread is up at the top in the miscellaneous food. We have two different kinds of bread. You could have naan or samun. So this is where you see my mouse is not working very well. Naan is flatbread. Samun is raised bread. Dave wants bread. Butter and yogurt. Dawood, and because Dawood is masculine, and because it's in the oblique case, we have to put Dawoodi. Bread is non or samun. Butter is. Nivishk. And yogurt is also in the dairy. Yogurt is must. Sorry, my mouse isn't working well enough to highlight it. Right there. Moss down at the bottom of the page. So, Dawoodi, non, nivishk, o mosque, and then my verb, duvain. And I use the plural verb ending on it because I have a plural object. What is ergative construction? Why are we using this ergative construction? <laughs> All right, let's go to page 112 and find out more about ergative construction. Middle of the page. In ergative sentence construction, the subject is in the oblique case, the object is in the direct case, and the verb agrees with the object. The verb always agrees with whatever is in the direct case. That means the object determines the verb ending. And then down at the bottom, you use it with the irregular verb V on Beve in the present tense. So that's what we're doing in this lesson. In lesson six, we'll use it with the irregular verb Habun Haba to have or exist. And you use it with all the past tense transitive verbs, verbs that have objects. All right, say, who said it? Page 117. So go to page Who said it? There it is, right in the middle of the page. Kegut. Kegut. At the top of my screen there. Say this. It's not necessary. Back to page 111. Bottom of page 111. Any of these options would say it's not necessary. Na via. Na lazima, na mohima, na haujaya. It's not necessary. Say, what did you say? If you didn't understand somebody, page 117. Very simply. Tachikut, Tachikut, what did you say? 
And the other option, um, if you didn't hear what they said, you could say, Java, Java, which literally means how, but it also figuratively means, what did you say? Or uh, I didn't understand that. Pardon? Say, what did he say? To page 117. What did he say? A is going to be. B. Good. What is the verb for to say or to tell? That's on page 116. It's Guten And finally, how do you say after that when telling a story? Page 108. It's not on page 108, it's on page 109. It's, it's Steve Daw. or pishti hinge, or hinge. Okay, I'm gonna try to close this and try a new video for the, for the rest of the lesson.